Born on November 10, 1939, Felix Nansing Alfilor Jr. comes from a big family of eight siblings in Camarines Sur. Just like him, his father was also a lawyer and a businessman at the same time. My father was practicing, uh, that was, and we had some a little, a little uh, land which was, which my father inherited from, from his, uh, from, from his family, uh, and then. Uh, but he's a practicing lawyer, and then he, but at the same time a businessman. He had a, after the war, he he put up a lumber, uh, lumber business. We had three branches or three stores, and from there, uh, my father uh, uh, bought the the an old institution, school institution, the uh, the Mabini Institute, and then he devoted his time in developing it, uh, improving it, until it became Mabini Memorial University, and then it's now the University of Northeast. Aside from being a lawyer and businessman, his father also entered politics and became governor of Camarines Sur. I was governor for one term, then he was uh, replaced during the martial law, but he was able to finish his term. Mm -hmm. he, he, five years, he moved to three three months, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, he was removed by by Marco. They mm -hmm. me we we belong to the other party. Idolizing his father, Nan Singh considers his father as the most influential person to him while growing up. Well, my father, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, well, young uh, I had to follow his footsteps. Being a lawyer, he was a lawyer himself. He also finished law in UP. So I was more or less following his footsteps, and I'd like to be him. I, he was in politics. I had to enter in politics also, and uh, I was, he was my guide. Guiding him and his other siblings who also entered politics, his father told them that they should not enter politics unless they are financially stable. In engaging politics, I mean, yes, I mean, uh, you must. Uh, don't enter in politics unless you have an economic base. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, you cannot depend on on your position for your uh, maintenance and for your needs in the family. So we he, he made it a, a point that uh, we should never engage in unless we have my, uh, an economic base. Meaning to say, a business of our own which we can uh, from where we can get our rental and our uh, our. Uh, what I mean, young daily needs of the family, so that uh, basically, so that we will not have to get it from the government to maintain our family. Growing up, Nan Singh has one memory that he will never forget. It was when he encountered a near-death experience. He was about seven years old then, and he fell from the tree he was climbing when the trunk snapped and broke. Nan Singh fell on the roots of the tree, hitting his body hard, particularly near the chest area. Eh, nama, nawala na kumalay noon. Dahil doon, biglang tumama ito. And, uh, naalala ko na, para bang, sa, yung, sa labas na ako ng katawan ko, nakita ko yung sarili ko ginaganon ako nung, nung, ano, nung, uh, nung servant namin. Pagkatapos, eh, after a while, na, nagising din ako. Doon ako, <laughs> doon sa loob ng katawan ko. Uh, para bang I would say na na wala na ako ng mal baka na matay ako dahil sa labas, para sa labas na ako eh nakita ko yung sarili ginaganyan then, pagkatapos then I wake up I woke up yun ang kaya magsimula no mayroon akong palpitation yun ang even during the uh, college days ko in 1954 pumunta na ako sa ano Sa Dr. Dale, uh, yun nga, uh, fasted palpitation, pagkatapos, but something with the heart. When he was young, Nan Singh says that his only physical activity then was swimming, which he does to keep his body fit. I used to swim more than an hour, continuously. Ma-resistence ako nun, uh, breaststroke lang. Yun ang, so far as sport is concerned, hindi ako nagbabasketball, uh, swimming lang at saka, uh, bicycle riding, stationary bicycle, you know, more or less, you know, 
ang ginagawa ko ay sa, uh, sa my exercise for trimming my body. Nansing finished his bachelor's degree of law at the University of the Philippines, took the bar exams in 1959, and took the 14th place at the age of 20. He then took his master's of law at Cornell University in the U.S. He worked for GSIS for five years while taking up his master's degree in public administration, also at the University of the Philippines, and he finished his master's in 1969. Just like his father, Nansing also put up his own businesses, aside from the University of Northeastern Philippines that he and his other siblings are running now. The school which his father started, Nansing put up his own Partido College in eight other computer schools. He also put up his own banks in Iriga and other provinces. I put up a, 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 a savings and loans association in Iriga. It's a, uh, and then... I branched out, known as the Pina Francis Savings and Loan Association, that's the one I organized, the one, the, the bank which we have here in Diriga, and then another branch in, with a branch at, uh, at uh, Bacoor Cavite. And then I also uh, bought two other, three other ba rural banks, the Sorcerer Control Bank and the Legacy Rural Bank and the Diriga Rural Bank. And uh, so I had uh, 12 banking offices. Unselfishly, he did not build his many businesses just for the purpose of gaining profit for himself. M my main goal was to be able to recruit more people, mm -hmm. to give them jobs. I was able to generate 860 uh, positions for my, for my people, my constituents. And... Uh, I had businesses all over, all over the Bicol. Unfortunately, Nansing has to give up almost half of his businesses after he entered politics for the reason that he cannot handle them all at the same time anymore. So what I did was to give up the three rural banks which I, which I bought and retained my, the original two banks which I established myself, the Pina Francis Savings. Known station, which is a thrift bank, and which is which is uh, at present existing even at this moment. You know, of, of the business that I had at that time, 35, yung bank code I had to give in, uh, give up, you know, 12 banks, and then the uh, then the uh, pawn shop, I had three, I had to give it up. Also, I was thinking, kasi na. If I had a lot of money, I could channel all the funds to the pawn shop. That was my strategy. I had poor manager in the pawn shop. Uh, it started losing, so I gave it up. All the three. And, and the trim down, it, something like 22 long. But I still my garment factory. Uh, now I'm putting up a, a water bottling plant. Despite being quite well off because of the businesses he owns, Nansing and also his siblings was instilled with a principle to live a simple life by their parents. I mean, we always uh, live within our means. That's one principle that has been instilled uh, as a family which has been through since my father and my uncle.